Here's your problem too, numb nuts. It's not a crime to fantasize about having sex with Michelle at the nail salon anyway. And uh, all I'm doing is saying I lost an hour of time and I don't know what happened because I was in there for over almost an hour and a half to almost an hour and 40 minutes, which is 40 minutes longer than the nail job you gave me the second time I came in, Tien. Is that your name, Tien? <laughs> or is it Tien? I don't know. Are you the guy from the Yucatas? <laughs> Question mark. Was was your wife so desperate for sex she was having sex with me in the bathroom too? I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember that part. I just remember eating the food out at your restaurant. <sighs> but if you're treating her so badly she did, you messed up, man. <laughs> She's a beautiful woman. Mm. The only went out there for the food. Now, I didn't mind talking to her. I didn't mind being a friend with her. But I wouldn't expect her to follow me into the bathroom. Who would do that? <laughs> a lonely and desperate woman who you're not satisfying in the sack? <laughs> or in the bedroom? I guess. <laughs> but I don't even remember her doing that. And I would never accuse her of sneaking in there anyway. I know. <laughs> but if she did, okay, it's not because of me. <laughs> I'm just someone she... Was talking to and being her friend. Mm -hmm. Now, if we're friends with benefits, I don't remember that part of the exchange, right? Because the only place we could do it is where? The bathroom. The bathroom. <laughs> and I wouldn't expect her to knock on the door, open the door for her, see what's going on, right? And come in and have sex with me and as I'm going to the bathroom. <laughs> either, either. Would you? Would you? <laughs> no, you locked the door. and uh, So she would have to knock on the door anyway. That's what a normal person does. <laughs> And again, <laughs> I don't recall that. <laughs> I'm in there to eat food, right. usually, right? right? Even at the other Japanese restaurant, I'm there to eat the food. Now, I might ask the girl if she has a boyfriend and if I can be her girlfriend, if she can be my girlfriend, right? I asked her that. I'm looking for a girlfriend. <laughs> oh, I told her. Mm -hmm. She's a pretty girl. She's from China. I like her, too. <laughs> But I don't know. I did anything with her. I'm just eating the food, too. I, I'm there for a reason. I eat food. Eat food. And go to the movies. That's it. When I went into the salon, I expected at 3 or 3.10 3 to see one of the two movies I was going to see. I was going to see one of them, right? You can't see two movies at the same time. No, can't. No, can't. That's why I went out there, that. <laughs> and I've been doing nail jobs around the town, right? <laughs> With her, too. With Michelle, too. That's what she said her name was, anyway. That should be on the camera, too. All right. You're watching me from your office, anyway. <laughs> the end. And I'm about sick of your shit. Did I meet you at the wreck, too? Where you, was your girlfriend or daughter or wife walking down the road and I met her and she took me home and had sex with me or something? <laughs> Is that it? I don't remember the encounter and you tried to wreck me in the car and attack me? <laughs> All right. And you're such a pussy. <laughs> I survived both your attack and the wreck. <laughs> Through my faith in Jesus, though, too. Come on, get real. <laughs> I know what. whoever has a problem with me, this has started way before. Mm -hmm. I moved to Garden City with my mom. Mm -hmm. And I know you opened the Yucatas as soon as after the bank closed, right? Used to be a bank there, right? And the Revco I used to work at, too. Mm -hmm. That's how I met you and Marika. Mm-hmm. I know your wife's name is Marco. I know your name is Tien. And you're Vietnamese. And I was happy that you had a Japanese wife. Were you? <laughs> I mean, come on. <laughs> or were you racist against your own wife because she was Japanese? And what the hell you marry her and open up a Japanese restaurant for anyway if you didn't love her? Mm hmm That's what I mean. Isn't <laughs> that right? Exactly. <laughs> And you don't mess with a customer, okay? <laughs> Not talking to her. Mm -hmm. Who's just coming in there to eat. Mm -hmm. But like I said, I don't know your wife would do that. See, all I remember is going to the bathroom. <laughs> now, if she did, I'd wipe my ass and make love to her, right? Then nothing. <laughs> it's legal at the time. I don't know. I saw that in the movie, you know what I mean, right? People making love in the bathroom. I don't know if it's legal or not at that time, right? 
And I'm not, you know, privy to the law there either. <laughs> but I don't go to a restaurant expecting sex in the bathroom. But that is the only place you can do it in a restaurant. Too. <laughs> Can't do it anywhere else. <laughs> either, either. But like I said, right. <laughs> it, it's the same as true with Justine. I did not go in there thinking Justine would have sex with me in the bathroom. <laughs> I'm not saying she did. <laughs> I'm saying I don't remember that part of the interaction. <laughs> now, if, okay, she's 19, about to go off to college, never had sex with her boyfriend, not even at prom. <laughs> Maybe then she might would say, well, what's going on with you? <laughs> I'd say, well, I got this girl living with me. She's supposed to be my girlfriend, but she brought a boy over with her, a man over with her. <sighs> and I thought she was going to live with me really like me, but she didn't. No, no. <laughs> Maybe we felt a kinship because she's having her problem with her boyfriend, and I'm having my problem with my girlfriend. <laughs> And maybe we decided on the spot. That's that's in the bathroom. That's that's in the bathroom. I don't remember that part. But, mm -hmm. I don't know. Right? You don't expect that either. But if it happens, what you're gonna say? No.